Hey guys, I'm Yuri from Zulu8 and I'm going to show you how to turn your geometry into tubes and animate it. So we'll jump back into the content browser, we'll grab a head again and um, what we'll do is we'll subdivide it again so the same as before one in the editor, one in the renderer and let's hit C to make that editable so now what we'll do is we'll create a circle jump back into your front view frame it up so it's centered with the head. That looks pretty good. Now let's go into your MoGraph settings and grab a cloner and put the cloner above the circle, or put the circle within the cloner. So jump into your position settings, into your Y change that to zero. Now let's put these to like a 96 so scale it down to 96 and add more circles. So now we can grab the whole cloner and just uh, scale it down to fit the head. Basically this cloner is going to be our projection. So what we can do next is Let's hit C to make that editable. Select all these splines, right click them, and let's connect objects and delete just to make one single spline out of all these circles. Select your head, select the edges, just click off and make sure there's no edges selected on your head, and now hit M and K to open up your line cut tool. So then um, in your settings, make sure visible only is checked off. Then once again, make sure select cuts is checked on. And what you do now is make sure your head is selected. You've got your, knife uh, your line cut tool, hold control, and when you hover over uh, your spline, you get all these uh, red points showing up. So that means it's active and it's ready to be projected and cut into your object. So you click onto that, and there you go. You've uh, projected your shape onto your geometry. Go into mesh settings commands and go edge to spline you can hide these now there you go Let's uh, make a sweep going around all the splines. So what we'll do is um, we'll create a circle. We'll scale that circle down really small. So you can even go in the settings and uh, let's put it to like 0.2. It's tiny. Open up these settings, select your sweep, and drag both of these into your sweep, and there you go. But um, the circle's still a bit big, so what we'll do is scale it down to 0.1. Bring the angle down. Go into your spline as well. We'll change that to a uh, B spline, uh, uniform, and bring down the points. So 
you get up close, you'll be able to see it a bit more detailed. So do the same thing, change that to uniform and bring down the points. Just so it runs smoother, quicker. We can go into the spline and hit close spline, which connects everything together. Actually, we'll untick close spline for this one, keep it open, and uh, we'll just clean it up a little bit, get rid of this little thing there we don't need. Let's move it down a little bit. We'll go into tools, mesh. Uh, sorry, we'll go into the mesh, we'll go into spline, and we'll hit round. Points to 50. Click a few times. That looks pretty good to me. I'm pretty happy with that. Select it all. Hit C to uh, make it editable. Uh, see we have all the caps there so we want it all to be a single object. Back in your sweep object make sure create single object is checked on. So select these, hit C. We're gonna um, separate all these pieces into their own objects so you go into your search menu and type in polygon groups to objects. Poly on groups to objects. Click on that. That gives you separate pieces. So now, same again, what we can do is go into your MoGraph settings, create a fracture, select all these, and drop it into your fracture. We can clean it up as well, this little point, before you drop it into your fracture. Let's just clean it up quickly. Select this little point there. I don't want that there. Grab your sweeps, drop it into your fracture, and there you go. Now you can animate and make some trippy stuff. You can go into MoGraph effectors, add a random effector, and bang. All the pieces are separated. You want to smooth it down. Add a subdivision. Jump in your random effector. Go into noise. Get your animation speed to like 20 or so. And there you go. We'll turn off that subdivision for now, but in your final render, maybe you can subdivide it. If you want more then please like and subscribe to our Zulu 8 page and leave me a comment below. Also check out our Instagram and Facebook page for more trippy tutorials and inspiration. I'm Eurus from Zulu 8, I hope this helped and thanks for watching.